sometimes my friends you know <clears throat> it seems that you know the kingdom of God is so far away from you in your heart you see and it's not something that's tangible anymore you know you're more involved and you trust more in the things of the world and in the ways of the world the ideas of the world become big voices in your life in your heart you see and the voice of Jesus Christ becomes something that's faded off into the distance you see why am I saying this I'm saying this because this has happened to me you see my friends it's something that has happened to me because I myself decided to abandon Jesus Christ why did I decide to abandon him because I didn't keep my eyes on him you see I began to see what many people who call themselves by the names of Christians I began to see what they were doing and it it caused a hatred in me because I didn't I didn't want to be around self-righteous people I didn't want to be around sinners who then condemned people of the world uh, when they did things that they that the world was doing and worse than the world and the only difference was they showed up on Sunday and Tuesday or Wednesday or whatever day that was and they put their hands up and uh, they looked good for the camera and they spoke the lingo and quoted the verses you see but then I would see them in the clubs I would see them doing all manner of things you see and for me when I decided to go to the clubs and things it was not because you know I'm going to church I had nothing to do with that I had nothing to do with it you know I never believed in that I never followed it I, I just felt sick when I saw all of it just like you know it was just a joke what I was seeing and these were pastors and pastors kids and all these people all these good looking you know good looking clergymen and and people doing all these kind of things I saw pastors drunk you know doing things with 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 women you see and then they thought that I'm one of them and I wasn't one of them because I wasn't following Jesus at the time and it, I just used to I, I used to look at these people and it used to infuriate me and then they go and they have the audacity to quote Hebrews where it is all mongers and adulterers God will judge you see they quote the verse and then they, 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 they don't know the God whom they're talking about and then they go around and do the same things you see choir members were sleeping with choir leaders you see they were drinking drugs all of it and then you show up on Sunday and you coat on you dress the part and everything is okay you see and that's what is happening you see that's what 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 happens in these places with these people they quote uh, one minute someone is saying brother hey you know they're all praying in tongues and the next minute the two same people who are praying in tongues are sleeping together with each other you see I said no I'm not gonna be like this if I'm gonna sleep around I'm gonna sleep around you see I'm gonna do it and I'm gonna do it all out and I'm not gonna play the game you see and that's what I did you see so I ended up going away from Jesus and I even told God uh, Jesus I said I don't want to have anything to do with you or these people just leave me alone I wanna just go and I wanna do my own thing so guess what that's what I did you know uh, I went I, I I just I found a job you know I got a good job at the time I started making a lot of money I started you know living it up you know I had a nice car nice everything clothes you know I was in living with some people who had you know good jobs and and, and up up there and you know and it was all it was all it was all good you know we can all sit down after 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 your job at a sports bar somewhere 
you know then after that we go to a, somebody's party then after that we're in the club whatever you know and we end up doing whatever after that. I just didn't care anymore, you know, because I didn't want to be, I didn't want to be self-righteous. I didn't want to be a hypocrite, you see. So that's what I chose to do. And uh, there came a point in my life, my friends, where it all began to crash. What do I mean by crash? No, I was going to work. I was doing this thing, but it all stopped losing meaning see I had money but money became something that just meaningless I had this it became meaningless I had that it became meaningless you see and 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 and, and, and I just it, it 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 all began to just disintegrate you see I stopped having a desire for the things you see and I started realizing that I'm not like these people either you know, I I can't do I I, I can't keep living like this. It's not fulfilling me. You see. So you see, my friends. One day I ended up. One day in particular, I ended up. I remember I, I drank all night, all into the next morning. It was like into the afternoon the next day. You know, and I was drunk. You know, and 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 I ended up. Tears just started rolling down my cheeks. I was drinking. You know music was playing and i was smoking cigarettes in my in, you know from back to back in the house you know and uh i was just i was just trying to trying to get you know some kind of control and just forget all this you know what's going on with me why am i why can't i just be happy you know that's what was going on and so anyway to cut a very very long story um one night I was some girl came over and I was you know supposed to sleep with her and uh that was the plan and it, I, it something stopped me and I didn't you know and uh the next day I just started thinking to myself I said you know what man this this is not this is not it this is not the way forward you see and then a few days after that I ended up going to the Lord I said you know Lord if you take me back, you know, please have mercy on me, you know. And right before that, all the voice of condemnation comes. All the loud voices, vociferous with high amplitude, telling you, no, it, you never take you back. Look what you did. You remember this? You remember that? Then there, you have vivid graphic images of things that you did and said and all kinds of things, you see. But then there's that glimmer. That glimmer of hope that's like a mirage sometimes, you know. You've got to cling on to it. And I did, by the grace of God. And I went to him and I said, you know, Lord, forgive me. Have mercy. And immediately I did that. I started, you know, tears started coming. The implosion happened in my heart. See, that implosion was the disintegration of all the false buildings that had been built. You see? And lies that had been dwelling in my heart and all manner of things that had robbed me of my relationship with Jesus you see and you know what my friends he took me back and he and he gave me even more than what I had before you see but I had to come from a true heart from a true place you see and he gives you to taste of things that this world will never give you ever trust me I know all about these things and I know about the battle between you know all the voices you know that tell you wrong and in the temptation of you know following after the things of the world and the ideas of the world you know what my friends at the end of it the, it's worth it because this life is fleeting one minute we're here the next minute we're gone you see no cup of alcohol or, or drugs or women or whatever whatever it is that you're doing that if you're doing them they're, it's, they're not going to fulfill you my friends you're going to be, remain empty you see so just whatever it is go back to Jesus the living word he'll restore you and give you more than what you ever imagined you see but the thing is that you have to come from that place in your heart where you mean it. You see, 
you need to be honest with yourself about your life and the things that you've done see and when you do that my I can guarantee you 110 percent he'll take you back and he'll take you to the place that you never been before see my friends it's happened with me not once many times so I just urge you go to Jesus go to